Man, we've been out here consecutively many nights, and that's why I don't have much of a voice right now. These are our streets. People need to hear how we feel. People should feel everything I feel every single day that I've dealt with in my whole life. I never thought I would live to see this day. Um, you see it in the history books, you read it in the history books. I hear stories from my family. To be a part of this, it's amazing. To know that I have their support behind me, it's amazing. Can we do something tomorrow that really matters to black people, can we? But we're just getting started. We got a long, long uphill battle, and we are just getting started. No justice, no peace. I've just been trying to figure out how to contribute to this fight, this second wave of the civil rights, and uh, give everything I can to it. A lot of um, non-black humans have not been actively a part of this fight, right? What is their role? So I think that everybody's learning their role. During the day, it's peaceful, it's beautiful, it's nice. Once it gets dark, it gets chaos, it gets hectic. And it's a little bit of anarchy, but I can understand it. People are pissed, people want change, and hey, without sun, you can't have the rain. There's people out here from multiple different regions, some good, some bad, but everyone has their own reason for being out here, and they kind of do their own thing after that point. We're seeing people who are disenfranchised and dis in, uh, are sick of the injustice in our communities. We're tired of having to continuously fight for our rights and we're not going to just be pushed around. We're all standing in solidarity with families that struggle far more than ours every single day and we're not going to just let up and let this happen. We're standing up for our community and our children. We have this, this focus on, on Portland and a lot of it is the intensity that happens after the sun goes down and uh, we go downtown and this is not just about destruction even that even those efforts aren't just destruction we're not trying to destroy our country this is us trying to maintain the american dream that is talked about and written in our constitution this is about making sure that is real and that foundation is created in a way that makes everybody a part of it you know some people's efforts are are through anger and, and through pressure and through protest. Some people have art to share, some people have education, some people have policy that they're writing, you know, and it's just a whole spectrum. And so it's just important to know that and remember that as we are being hyper-focused on. I guess I'm feeling like this must be what it's like to be a black person in America every single day. And if I have to put up with this for one night or 50 nights or 100 nights, it's never gonna be as bad as someone who has to put up with this their entire life and until those people have justice we will not rest.